Plants are all around us. Have you ever wondered how you could take your favorite plant and turn it into many plants? This is the concept behind plant tissue culture. The term plant tissue culture refers to the in vitro cultivation of all plants under aseptic conditions. This exciting technique is used by students, hobbyists, and even gardeners while also serving as a valuable tool for plant research. An important contribution made through this technique is the unique capacity of a single plant cell to give rise to a whole plant. This is called totipotency. Using the invaluable techniques of micropropagation, the plant can then be further expanded to form an infinite number of new plants. This video is designed to serve as a supplemental guide in the laboratory instruction of plant tissue culture and show the application of plant tissue culture in science and technology. In this video, we will be focusing on the very basics of plant tissue culture techniques. Initiation of a culture from a primary explant, shoot initiation and micropropagation, and rooting and acclimatization. We assume that you are already familiar with sterile procedure and the use of a sterile hood. For a review of these procedures, please refer to two of the other videos in this series, sterile procedure and the use of the sterile hood. Initiation of cultures from a primary explant using bean. Explants can be cultured as a mass of poorly differentiated cells called callus. These cells can be manipulated in order to make an entirely new plant by using hormones and media. With the use of any tissue from the outside world, the first and most important step of plant tissue culture is the sterilization of the primary tissue. This means that these non-sterile tissues are surface sterilized and then placed in the appropriate media to stimulate in vitro growth. The sterilization can be a challenge as the foreign contaminants must be removed without compromising the health of the tissue that you wish to grow. Begin by sterilizing your work area with 70% ethanol. Be sure to thoroughly wipe down all of the surfaces you will be using. The supplies you will need in the hood to perform this lab are green bean seeds, 20% bleach, 70% ethanol, sterile beaker, sterile jar with the cap, waste container, non-sterile beaker, sterile water, sterile petri dishes, bean callus initiation medium plates, parafilm, tin foil, spatula, forceps, and a Bunsen burner. Pour about 30 milliliters of ethanol into the non-sterile beaker containing the bean seeds. Allow about a 60 to 90 second exposure to the ethanol. Any longer could kill the seeds. Safety warning. When working with an open flame in ethanol, always keep them a good distance away from each other as ethanol is extremely flammable. If the ethanol should happen to become ignited, extinguish the flame by simply placing the cap onto the jar. Dump the ethanol and add about 30 milliliters of sterile water to the beaker to rinse. Swirl and then dump the rinse water. Using forceps, transfer the seeds to a sterile beaker. Add about 30 milliliters of bleach. Swirl occasionally during this 15 minute primary disinfection period. Dump the bleach after this time and rinse three times with sterile water. Transfer the seeds to a sterile jar and add sterile water.
kept loosely and allowed the seeds to imbibe overnight. The next day, rinse the seeds three more times with sterile water. After the final rinse, pour the seeds into one of the empty, sterile petri dishes. Use the flame sterilized cooled forceps and scalpel to hold the seed and remove the seed coat. Cut the seed into two parts along the long axis. You should now be able to see the embryo. Aseptically transfer the two cotyledons and the embryo to the plate containing the callus initiation medium. For this experiment, we have chosen to use Gamborg's B5 medium containing nutrient salts, vitamins, 30% sucrose, the plant hormone kinetin, and a gelling agent, in this case, Gelrite. All media components are mixed and the pH is adjusted to 5.8. Wrap the petri plates in parafilm and then in a layer of tin foil. Incubate the plates at 25 to 27 degrees in darkness. Check the plates every two or three days for callus growth. 